What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and I got two iPads here. This is my 12.9 over here on the right-hand side. And over here, this is uh, one of my girls' iPad. This is the um, Air. So um, it's running 15.6 over here, and I have the 16 beta over here. I wanted to show you a few of the differences and little nuances that exist within the new software when it comes to the files manager. So let's talk about it. All right, so when you first open files up on here, it pretty much looks the same, pretty much standard layout, with the exception of a couple of things down here. You actually do have um, a customization or format bar down at the bottom. So that is something that is new. So one of the other things is there's not really a difference when you click on the icon up here. It's still going to take you to your icons, your list, your columns. Um, it gives you the name. You can sort them by name, kind, data, all that good stuff. The only difference that you're going to get is over here. You have the tag option. You still have tag, but then you have view options down here. And this one normally has groups, but I don't see it. So you can actually change those by groups over here on this one. But you do get that little extra view option that's going to give you choice of whether you want to view it by size or whatever. Now, when you click out of that, let's just go to column. Let's go to the column view. All right. So let's just say we're going to have pictures that we want to look at. And that picture comes up and that picture comes up right there. Now, one of the things that is still pretty much the same and still pretty much on par is with these, you're going to get the open symbol. You're going to get, you can draw on it. You can change the format of it. You can do all this stuff. If you click over here, let's just click the menu button. You still get share over here. You now get convert image. You can remove background. You still get rename, compress, and everything else is the same. So the things that are different are going to be convert image, remove background. And then over here, you still get where you can choose what app you want to send it to and things of that nature. So the only difference is going to be the convert image, remove background, and then pretty much everything else is still the same. So let's say you want to remove the background. It's going to give you a picture with the background removed and it just puts it back in that same folder. No issues. Let's click out of that. All right. So let's say you want to just come over here and explore inside these settings. So if you click there, click there, it gives you scan documents on both of these. It gives you connect to server and you can edit the sidebar. Let's edit this sidebar and you can still get pretty much the same everything inside of here. Let's click out of that. Now, one of the biggest changes comes with our documents. So say you just basically want to work with the document and work with someone else. So if you click on your little menu dots right here, it's going to bring up this menu and you notice that you still get pretty much all the same options right here, even though this one over here is a PDF and this one is in pages, but you still get the same options. But if you notice at the top here, there is one that says sync copy. And if you click on that, it goes to collaborate. So when you click on collaborate, this is what they were talking about in the show where you can actually send this out to someone else. They can put their little markup on it and things of that nature, and then they can send it back to you or you can both use this document. So that's one of the other updates that I have noticed inside of here. We know this is stuff is not done yet. Uh, we are working in beta. So there is something else that I noticed while inside the file files application. Let's get this thing open. There we go. All right. So we got our mouse connected and we're going to open up files right here. And once we get it opened up, let's say if we click on the view and I want the icons back up and we're just going to go back to my iPad. Now, normally you would have to select one item at a time in here, but let's say you want to select multiple folders. You can now do that and you can just transfer those. So let's say I want to put them in a new location or let's just do this. I'm going to create a new folder. Got it untitled right here. Let's just say I want to pick a bunch of different things and we're just going to grab these right here across the top and I right click and then I can actually copy those items, open this folder 
and I can paste right inside there. And there you go. All those things are now in that untitled folder. And if you right click in that folder, you get these options right here, such as new folder, paste, move the items, scan documents, get info. You can get the info on this whole folder. So it'll tell you exactly all the information in that whole folder when it's when it was created. Uh, if it's been modified, you can add your tags. You, it tells you where it is and it even tells you how big that whole folder is. So that's one other thing I noticed and we are in the full screen mode and we can make this smaller. We can make it larger and we actually have it open over here as well. So you can have multiples of these open at a time. Let's get this and let's put them side by side. If I can get it to the size that I like it. There you go. So we can put them side by side. And then one of the other biggest things is that people had questions about changing the name of your portable storage. So if we go into files over here, we'll go into our menu over here for files. I can see that whole thing that I just plugged up, that SSD, that T5. And let's change to the list view over here and we can change to column view over here. So just mix it up. You got the same thing showing in both of these. And then if you come over here, you still cannot change the name of it. So you can open it up again. You can hold down all you want to. You can hold down again and get info. It gives you all the information on it. Still doesn't give you the size of it though. So that's, it doesn't give you everything that's in there. No storage data or no, no sizes on here, but it does give you the kind. It gives you when it was established and all that good stuff. And it, for some reason it has 1969 on there. I don't know why. Um, and it tells you where the location is, but that is pretty much it. So you still cannot change the name of your portable storage, but you can now take all these items, and you can select a whole bunch of them. Let's get it in the right view first. Icon view, and you can select a whole bunch of them and you can move these from folder to folder or however you would like to. So that's one of the newest things that have come to this iPad with iPad OS 16. So those are all the little nuances that I've seen so far. Now, if you want to open up this menu one more time. You can compress these folders. You can compress that file just like you can over here. You can mark up on both devices. So it's just a few little tweaks here and there that Apple is adding. Um, you can scan the document. You can connect to server. You can edit the toolbar on both of these. There's no issue there. If you want to hide the toolbar, boom and boom, same thing. Click those buttons. You get the same view layouts that you have on this one. And let's just go back, same view. So you still get the icon view, the list view, the columns, I prefer columns. Um, you still get the name kind and all that good stuff, data. You can use groups over here and you have the options over here that replaced that group tab and the options that give you the same thing, date, size, uh, share it by who, who shared it, show the extensions. So those are a few other things that you can get over here that you can't get on this side, share it by and show all extensions. And then when you click out of there, everything else is pretty much the same. Now, one other thing that I can say is let's say we hold this down, that comes up and then we're going to hold this down and that comes up. So once you select an item, you get, you still get info, rename, compress, duplicate, all that good stuff, quick look up. So when you select an item on either side, you're still gonna get pretty much the same stuff. Get info, rename, compress, all that good stuff, quick look. But there's one new item over here that says new folder with item. You can actually create a new folder with this item already in it. So you don't have to create a folder and then drag it over. Um, and you got tags and you got all the same stuff. And then when you get down to the bottom, open a new window, you can still do that on both devices. So not a whole lot of big changes. I know that they were boasting a whole list of things, which is little subtle nuanced things. Then it's pretty much still functioning as the same, but it gives you a little bit more options in some different places and things like that. So hopefully this has been able to help someone out. This has just been a little quick run through of 
the new files application and um, on iPad OS 16. Hopefully it's something you're looking forward to using. I know I'm looking forward to the full thing because like a lot of times this will crash. And so I, I just really wanted to make sure that it is going to be done right. So when we get a full on version of this, we're gonna come back and we're gonna redo all this stuff. But this is just the first look at files and how it's gonna be working with your devices. So until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace. Thank you.